Good morning, welcome back to another video, and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cap Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so for today, we are going to be utilizing our inscription. And because we have obviously set ourselves up for mounts and we've done a few flips and all that jazz, now let's actually get into production of different types of professions. So from this time forward, we're gonna be utilizing our professions now, if you can tell, we had around about 99,000 gold. We currently have 20,000 gold. That is because we have invested in our inscription. This is going to be a good day. So, that being the case, let's get into the gold for the day, and then we can get into what we've actually done this entire morning. So, the gold goes as follows, and it is 3,284 day gold. So it is a lull day, so I'm okay with that. The K-Babs have sold for 1,881 gold, and the rest of it's all just random crap that you can get from all of the other bits. So that being the case, let's pull all that in. We're back up to 30,000 gold, even though we spent like a stupid amount of gold this morning. And that is because we wanted some expulsion from the Scrap-O-Matic. Now, if you're like my character, such as Zathrash, who is my inscription, and my alchemist, how do we get Expulsum onto those characters if they don't have a way in which they can craft to scrap, so to speak? So like with tailoring, we can craft the braces and then sell those. The, re the answer is relatively simple. It is basically crafting the braces and sending them over there through ma the mail or through the guild bank. So this gives them the ability to just be able to get expulsion on your characters. It's really that dead simple. So how did I want to actually go about doing this? And I literally went into my Worth It dashboard and went all the way over towards the disenchanting part module. And I wanted to see how much it would it was going to cost me to make... 100 Tide Spray Linen Bracers, so at the moment it's like 2,481, but if I went into my configuration and we went down to Min Buyout, uh, that is basically what I bought. I basically bought a decent amount of all this stuff. So basically it was costing me like 750 gold as opposed to what it was saying just then. Now obviously we weren't disenchanting them into the materials, so it wasn't a big waste of my time, but I would like to say that it is probably worth doing the disenchanting still as it's still pulling up a decent amount of gold. But aside from that, all I did was craft the Tide Spray Linen Bracers and send them over to my character Zathrash in which he used on the scrapper. Now one little side note to mention is the add-on the Easy Scrap. Now Easy Scrap is really really easy to actually use. And that is because we can run over here and I will show you. Basically you click on here and a little text box will come up here. All you have to do is press Q all if you're doing all the tie spring and braces and press scrap. It does all nine of them in one click. And then that's eight less clicks that you have to do when pressing the buttons. So you don't have to be constantly clicking when you're using your scraps. So easy scraps are very good add-on to use if you're getting expulsive. That being the case, let's get into our inscription character. Now with my inscriber, he basically wanted to make a load of stuff. Well, I wanted to make it, he's just gonna make it for me. And it is the trinkets for the item level 400 trinkets that I wanted to create with the maroon ink and the ultramarine ink and Expulsum, hence why I needed some Expulsum. And what I was planning on doing was relatively simple. I basically got a hold of a load of Winter's Kiss for my Ultramarine inks, and I also got a hold of a load of Xenanthid. Now these were bought off of the auction house and not farmed. You can save a lot of gold if you decided to farm these, but aside from all of that, I just bought those off the auction house. What I was planning on doing is creating a, a lovely amount of 10 of each of the trinkets as the sell rates for these trinkets are relatively high in the grand scheme of these item level 400 items in which we can sell on the auction house. So selling 10 of each is like 
40, uh, 40 of those trinkets on the auction house and plus any remaining stuff we will craft through this. So we needed 87 expulsum, we got that hold of that with our Thai spray linen and we got a load of Thai spray linen back which I will now, before I forget, send over from our, which I will then send over to Giblet and if we go over to Giblet and if he actually, if he actually comes up and giblet and all I have to do is just send all of that back over to giblet and then he can craft those back into the braces in order to utilize other professions so we did 500 of the tide spray linen braces to get a hold of a load of expulsum 87 to be precise from 500 of the braces and now we've got seven maroon ink because I had seven maroon ink on the auction house so I just cancelled it and got some of those off of this. So we made a load of marine ink this morning, a load of uh, ultramarine ink, crimson ink and viridescent ink and now it is time to craft all of our stuff. So at this moment in time I wanted to focus on the level 400 trinkets mainly because everyone's gearing up their alts now as it's 8.3 and it's most likely going to be one of those things that we are going to have to utilize. Now at this moment in time the estimated cost of crafting these actual trinkets is netting me with an extra 62,000 gold plus it's going to estimate a cost of 82,000 hence why we've had to spend so much gold to actually get a hold of all this. But the actual thing that we're going to be doing now is by crafting all of these trinkets. And this is using two expulsum plus 45 maroon ink, 25 ultramarine ink and 50 light parchment. Light parchment is just negated. It's not worth all that much. But we will be setting up some groups to sell these on the auction house in order to get our gold back. Now, the valuation is done by the min buyout of the items at this moment in time for my TSM. So I will be going with all of those when I'm posting that on the auction houses by going with the min buyout for these particular items as the that pretty much all the time with inscription, the trinkets actually sell relatively fast in the grand scheme of items, so to speak. So I usually do go with the min buyout. So that's probably what I will be going with when we're creating our groups for these said trinkets. So the next thing of note is while we're waiting for all of these to craft is work out what other things we want to actually create as well along with that. Now we do have a couple of options when it comes to inscription as we use the flipping module to create all of our inks. So we're at a profit as well with our inks. So we could sell those inks and get a profit back, but we could also craft them into something else that could sell a little bit faster than those on what you really want to be doing. So the next stage is to just jump over and see what else we want to be crafting. So we could actually craft a load more of the trinkets and I think that is probably a good way to go after we've done our last 10. So it does depend on how many we can craft. No, nope, we can only craft eight more. So it is the other 10 I just forgot while we're recording. Don't I feel foolish? But um, we can also craft the Dark Moon Cards of War. They are still viable. They just don't net you as much gold as they used to. So just bear that one in mind. And we can also do a load of other things as well. So we could use the viridescent inks the for our seven of the dark moon cards of war so we're going to craft all of those and see what we can actually get back for those and we're going to get loads of little ones for like low amounts of gold and at the moment viridescent inks uh, min bio is 99 silver so we're really not losing all that gold much gold when loads of these cards actually add up to a quite a hefty amount of actual stuff so we can sell those on the auction house with a all right sell rate. Definitely the item level 400 trinkets, the other ones I'm not too sure with the tides and the cards so to speak so we'll be testing those but the other things of note that we could be doubling down on is we can make 36 of the contracts. Now we on this character we only have the basic contracts and the ones that I want to double down on at this moment in time is probably the Tortolan Seekers, which we will make 20 of. So we will queue 20 of these Tortolan Seekers. I don't know why 20 didn't come across. And with the Proudmore Admiralty is at the better sell rate for those. 
So we will go with that. As we're working with a profit at the moment, it's really not that bad if we're going to be losing a little bit of gold creating the contracts for faster sales. So I'm really not overly that concerned, so to speak. At the end of the day, we're crafting a load of different types of things when it comes to inscriptions. And tomorrow I will be bulking out a lot of other inks, old world ink, to craft all of the other glyphs that we can actually create. So such as the glyph. So we're gonna be crafting basically every glyph in the game. And I, on this character, have a lot of glyphs. So that will probably be the plan, is crafting all of these glyphs and then posting those all in the auction house and seeing if we can get any regular sales. And then we can then back up all of that type of stuff and make sure that we've got loads of that on the auction house at any one time and then make sure that we can keep a bulk load in production to keep up with the demand of certain glyphs. So we'll create all of them and then see which ones are selling for the best. Now we could go with the sell rates, but I like to craft all of them. And the more I have on the auction house when it comes to glyphs, I the more gold I usually make. So I'm really not overly too concerned. Hopefully we can make a load of gold back with these trinkets. And at this moment in time, it is looking quite viable at 155,000 gold now from an initial like 70,000 we spent this morning on all of the materials to craft all of this stuff. So we spent 70,000 for a potential 150,000 gold. So it's definitely worth it. Uh, crafting the item level 400 trinkets as they w are at a very good sell rate at this moment in time for like 1.71 for the sell rate which is pretty damn good and um, I'm really not going to be worried that much. Uh, also I just messed up the sell rate is 0.19 and the daily average sold is 1.71 just wanted to clear that up right there before I continue prattling on. So our finished total is at 154,000 gold and we still have a load of viridescent ink which we will save for all of our different glyphs and all of that jazz. So now it's just a case of sourcing all of the stuff and then moving on with all of it. So that being the case, let's jump over to our mailbox. So we'll make a speedy recovery over there. And for, seriously, tie spray braces are probably by far one of our biggest staples for getting hold of expulsum and enchanting materials, even still, and they're still running at a profit the majority of the time when it comes to just crafting all of this stuff. So double check you're worth it. If you've got an enchanter and tailor, utilize that, sell the enchanting materials, they sell pretty damn fast. Or if you need expulsum, do the tailor spray linen thing as you will get a load of stuff like that. But Aside from that, let's send this over to a giblet and hopefully we can actually create a load of gold over the night utilizing our inscription. And then we can see which decks are actually going to be selling faster. And then we can then double down on what is working as opposed to what isn't working and then focus more on all of that. So with that being the case, I'm gonna send these over and we're gonna to go to Giblet to end off the video. Okay, so we're with Giblet at this moment in time. We've got all of his stuff. So let's just grab all of our little nits and bits that we are wanting to post on the auction house. Obviously, we're gonna to have to make a little trip towards the bank just to make sure that we can place all of the tie spray linen and the nylon cloth to, in or, well, nylon thread in order to actually not post that on the auction house. I know I can exclude it, but I don't generally really bother all that much so we'll just chuck all of that stuff in here and yeah and carry on as we do so that being the case let's just set up our groups for all of this now that being the case this will be a nice little tsm guide for today if you haven't actually made groups so we currently have an inscription crafted singles and that is already set up. So we we'll probably will be going with that. So that being the case, ins inscription crafted singles, and this is the group for it. So we'll go to the operation and it should be the exact same name. 
inscription crafted singles. This is where I was crafting things and selling them singly. Now you don't need to worry, so it's now the inscription crafted, so to speak. One of my Discord actually mentioned that they were having some problems and the group management, just make sure that it's linked up, otherwise you actually won't post anything. Um, so that is probably just a site to heads up if you are struggling with actually creating your own groups that you actually have to link your groups and operations together. So what we're actually going to be doing with these inscription crafted singles is the 99% DB min buyout. Now I prefer to do it with 99%. It is completely up to you on how you want to do your operations when it comes to your min buyouts or your DB markets or however you want to post that. It's however you feel comfortable at losing gold as opposed to actually making gold, so to speak, to gain the max amount of sales. I like to go with 99% DB min buyout because it's still undercutting, but only by a small margin and it always produces a result for me. So if it works for me, obviously I'm going to do it and still make a profit on most of my stuff as long as I play my cards right and don't be stupid with my gold. Other than that, I do set pretty much all of these at the min buyout, except for the maximum. The maximum amount I will set at 101, so I completely jump up 2% when it comes to all that. Your normal price is set at 100%, so then you can go from 99% your min buyout and then with the normal price it is the 100% and then it's 101 for your maximum price. Now, some people like to put it at a stupid high for maximum price and that usually fudges my numbers, so I prefer not to do that. But other than that, guys, that is pretty much what I like to do. Now, the other thing of note is how many things you want to keep in your bags. Now, for me, I don't want anything to be restricted as of yet, but we will be playing with this little function here, keep this amount in my bags, where I could say, I wanna keep two of everything in this group to be kept in my bags at all times, so to speak. So, at this moment in time, we're not touching that, but that is how we will be going forward once we found which ones are selling for the most and so forth. So that being the case, let's add these to the groups. So the contracts I want to be put on, I want to put the, the actual Dark Moon cards, blah, 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 but add those, and then add the Highborn different items, the item 400s on there. So we'll add those to the group. We're going to leave these Crimson and Viridescent Inks ungrouped, and we're actually going to let the Crimson Ink and the Viridescent Ink ride on the DB market because we could be using it in the future, but we could not. So at this moment in time, it's up in the air, but I would like to have a small variety still on the auction house to see if we can actually gain any sales just for peace of mind referencing. So other than that, let's post these to the auction house as it is now set up. So all we have to do is go over to our TSM4 and jump into our auctioning and press run. So now we've got about 154,000 gold worth of items from our inscription and our milling using our milling module from Worth It in order to get the cheapest amount of the materials that we needed to craft all of this. So Worth It obviously isn't just a, a thing where you can use it for, oh, that's just your gold per hour and all that stuff. You can actually utilize the flipping module in such a way that you can reduce the cost of crafting stuff as well by utilizing uh, Zenithid will produce me my, my maroon ink and I can actually craft it at a, at a lower cost if I bought the Zenithid off the auction house and then sold it for a bit more. So it's just something to bear in mind when you're doing that. But other than that guys, that is pretty much what all I have to say for today. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Have an awesome day guys and I shall see you soon.